so my LG dryer stopped heating up. The drum works fine. It spins. It blows cold air. Lint trap is clean. There's no lint in there. I've checked a couple of videos. Um, and it seems like the issue might be the high limit thermostat. I've gone and unplugged it. This dryer has a steam sanitary function, which means it's connected to a water line. So I need to unplug that. The water has been shut off. I need to make sure that my gas is off as well. Gas has been shut off. Again, the high limit thermostat is what I think the issue is. I've already gone and pulled this out. The high limit thermostat is inside to the left. Uh, I'm not showing you that process because the videos I saw all have a reset button on the high limit thermostat. Mine does not. I've looked for the part and it states, uh, the places I found it state that the manufacturer has changed that part and it no longer has a reset button on it. So now I need to pop the dryer open. There's a couple clips here, one on either side. So I'll pop it open and test. The thermostat to make sure it's still working along with some other pieces that were recommended. Before I start trying to pop the top open, on the front end of the dryer, I need to make sure I unscrew this piece here. This piece slides up and out. That way when I try to angle the dryer up, it won't prevent me from doing so. All right, let's get going. Okay, in order to pop the top open, once you've removed the back, there's two clips. This one here, and there's one on the opposite side. All I'm doing is finding it with a putty knife, pushing in against it, and kind of just angling up. We're doing the same thing on that side. There you have it. Now that we've got the top popped open, it's time to remove the front end of the dryer. To do so, we're going to remove one, two, three, four, four to six screws. And then the whole thing should slide out. But before you slide it out completely, know that this thing here, the sensor that measures uh, lets you know what lets the dryer know when the doors open and close it's got an electrical component back here that you need to unplug so that when you move the door when you separate the door from the dryer you don't make you don't damage anything that's one When we do separate the door, we'll look for more just in case there's a second or a third. But as of now, that's all I can find. Starting off with the top two screws before moving on to the ones on the door. Okay, so I've got one screw out, two screws out, three, working on the fourth.
it seems like I'm gonna need at least two more. <clears throat> One, two, and possibly these two on the uh, door latch as well. Thought I was done, and I thought it was gonna be these two bottom screws in addition to the other four. I was wrong. It's the two screws that hold the lint trap that need to be removed. These two screws don't attach the door to anything inside. So then one more screw and the whole door is coming off. So the top is open. The front is off. Got a little lint different places. There's sand in here from beach days. So I'm gonna take the time while I have it open before I continue to unscrew things to give it a quick pass with the shop back. Try to get it as clean as I can. The components I am looking for are in there. So I will remove this part here, which covers the lint trap, which helps funnel air out, <clears throat> outside um, and see if that gives me access because I'd rather not remove the drum if I don't have to. Okay, so that's just a quick pass with the shop vac. There's certain places I couldn't reach because the hose is too big, but hopefully I can get in there once I remove this piece here. It appears it's just two screws. One there on the left, one here on the right. Okay, two screws indeed. Got it off. I would previously given it a bit of a cleaning. I'm glad it's off because I can clean it much better now. Just kind of dust everything off as best I can. And it seems like I might have access to that sensor. That's it there. Previous models had a reset button right in between those two uh, wires. Mine does not. So I need to test it to see if that's out, meaning it's no longer working. And if it's not, then I need to find, find a replacement. Um, if it is still working, I need to figure out what the issue is. Well, it turns out I'm going to need to remove the drum. There is a hose, excuse me, there is a belt that attaches the drum, right? Underneath to where the motor is, it turns it. It's just a simple spring. Uh, it's kept in place by spring pressure. I had a picture of that from the inside before I removed it. I'll post that as well. Now it's just a matter again. If I'm removing the drum, I need to disconnect that there. I've just disconnected this here. Then it's one, two, three, four screws. If you can see, when I after disconnecting the screws, I need to lift and pull the drum in order for it to slide out. Here we go. All right, so I got the drum out. Relatively simple, relatively light. I'm kind of glad I did because now I can clean up some of these wheels and some of these other parts that I did not have access to before. Including a lot of this stuff back here. Let's hope I find the problem. Wish me luck.
This is where we're at with the dryer, just taking it apart. Gone ahead and ordered a couple of uh, the high limit thermostat, a couple other parts. I had to take it all apart to access a few things in the process of doing so. I uh, mistakenly damage the heating element which should not be in pieces so I went ahead and ordered that which I think is a problem anyway part should be here in a couple days and I'll continue then so the parts I ordered for the dryer arrived the next day I'll start putting it back together the heating elements all right all right now that the parts are here let's put this bad boy back together okay so here we have the thermostat thermostat assembly and the igniter for my previous testing it seemed like the igniter was bad but since I'm in here changing at the thermostat and the other two parts these look the same but they're not one has what appears to be a reset button even though it isn't a reset button the other one does not the parts that are currently on the dryer that I need to replace look exactly the same what seemed to be the problem previously I believe was just everything and I mistakenly uh, broke the igniter when removing some of these parts so the igniter is kind of delicate so be careful when you're working around it I was trying to vacuum the tube that the igniter goes in and when I stuck my vacuum in there the vacuum pressed against it and just completely broke it lesson learned I won't do that again so these are the two thermostats I'm replacing. I found it easier, at least for me, to wait for the parts to arrive before removing them and putting in the new ones just so I don't mess it up and put them in the wrong spot or facing the wrong way. I'm glad I waited to remove these because I just realized that there is a specific way this sensor goes in thermostat goes in it's got a locking clip on the left that aligns with this and the right doesn't have that little lip on it and now that I see it on one I can see that the other one has the same thing going with the little lip which will make it easier for installation this is my box where I kept all of my uh, all the parts that came out what I did so I didn't get the screws mixed up um, I wrapped them in painters tape and just in my scribble so this is for the lint trap and the screws are in there you know I've got a few here this is for the drum a few there door top lint trap door so there's, there's a few in here including the one I'm currently looking for I went ahead and attached it to the igniter just so I use the right screw while I'm in here I want to take the time or the opportunity since everything's still clear to pop this little access panel off <clears throat> it's not broken it just pops off so that when it's time to put the uh, belt back on the drum I've got easy access from this angle as opposed to trying to reach in from behind or underneath the actual drum to try to get that in place it's easier to pop that off now than later when the drum is in place fire tubes back in place that's where the igniter goes 
That's one of the uh, switches I removed or exchanged, and so is that other one down there. Just need to put uh, this two back in place and uh, keep building. Piecing it back together, I need to make sure that the little latches fall into place, which will square the dryer again. I need to make sure that these wheels are in place. This housing here has a couple wheels, one behind here, one behind here that hold the drum. There's also two wheels in the back that you that you've seen in the videos, I didn't point them out, but they're there, that hold the drum on the back side. So now I just need to put the housing after clipping everything back together, all the electrical stuff. Need to put the housing for the air vent back in place and then just keep backtracking slowly. That is how that belt assembly goes on. Loops through that bottom ring and the top white one is just a tensioner to apply tension to it it was relatively easy doing it from this axis panel on the side of the dryer as opposed to trying to figure out how to do it from the inside which would have been nearly impossible all right time to put the door back in place we start by hooking it on those three bottom hooks that line up to the bottom of the door there and they just sit there once you have those in place we come to the top and the side panels of the dryer and these little hooks that attach here and you've got one on either end just simply lift slide it in you can hold it the door with your leg if you like because I'm recording with one hand and trying to do this with the other it's a little more difficult but it pops in relatively easy one two more electrical components this here and this there and then we can go put the screws into the door all right so we got the six screws one two three four five six all in place just gonna screw in this last one then two screws on the top one one here one there then we get to test it now for the moment of truth turn on the gas plug it in I'm gonna run it to make sure it is working correctly before reattaching the vent happy to say that it's running smoothly we're hearing is the gas the fire blowing I'd call this a win yeah, just a matter of reattaching the air vent so that it doesn't become a solder in here 